everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Helen and I'm a first time mum to my son Arthur who is almost 21 months old now. So I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, I post all things about motherhood and also food hauls like these every single Friday. So do make sure you are subscribed if that sounds like your kind of thing. This week is a Tesco food haul, it came to about £75 and yeah I really hope that you enjoy and seeing everything that we've got this week. So here is everything that we have bought this week. It is slightly depleted because I'm filming this on a Sunday um, and it actually came on a fr on Friday. Usually I film it on the Saturday morning, but I couldn't yesterday. So there are a few things missing, but I will explain as I go through anyway. So starting off over here, um, Tesco have got the cheapest Weetabix or, you know, their own make of. Um, if you're new, then I do shop in Tesco, Sainsbury's and Waitrose usually. So when we do shop in Tesco, we do usually stock up on like the cheaper things or things that we can't get, you know, the other two shops, for example. So yeah, the Weetabix, that's why we've got loads. We've got this big box of, I think that's 48, and then also 24. So we've got lots to get through. And we've also got our favourite porridge oats there. These are really nice. We also get them from Waitrose. I think they're actually a very similar price in both shops. Um, and then we've also needed some more kitchen rolls, so we just got a big roll of that. Toothbrushes, they were three for a pound, which I think is pretty cheap. So we just got that, um, and we also needed some more toothpaste as well. We only got one loaf of bread because Tesco, um, we are quite particular with the bread that we buy, and we usually buy three loaves, so we buy one for Arthur, just a white loaf, which we have here, and then also like two other ones for us. Um, but they didn't really have that many good ones, so we will go to a shop in a couple of days' time and get some for us. We have got some in the freezer to be going on with as well anyway. So yeah, that's why we've only got one small loaf there, because that is basically for our son. And then this little bit is kind of all the snacks that we will have this week. So we've got two um, multi-bags of this ready salted, so these are really cheap. And I think we get these every time at Tesco, really. They just taste exactly the same as, like, any old crisps, really. We do sometimes have baked ones or different ones, but, yeah, we just thought we would get just some plain ones this week. And we do pretty much have a bag each each day, and that's me and my husband. So, yeah, we do go through quite a lot of crisps. And we've also got these ones for Arthur. He really enjoys these ones. That's the Organics Carrot Sticks. He likes those, so that's kind of what they look like there. And then, so biscuits, not loads this week actually. We actually meant to get the chocolate chip shortbread, but never mind. But we've got these shortbread fingers from Tesco. They are really good. And then also some nouns. So for a change, we got the fruit ones. Usually we buy the chocolate chip nouns biscuits, um, which are really, really nice. But we just thought we'd get something different. So that's kind of why I wanted to buy chocolate biscuits, because these are so plain. So we haven't got any like chocolate biscuits this week, but we do have some bourbons in the cupboard still quite a lot actually so we've still got a lot of uh biscuit supply which we enjoy and then we've also got these nose bars these are probably our favorite ones like chocolate and orange flavor they're really really good and um, we've got a bar of milk chocolate there just tesco's own make which are nice and then these organics ot bars which obviously these are like the children's ones are and we do buy them and like offer them to arthur but to be honest with you he doesn't often eat them recently just like he holds it he might break a bit off he might put a bit in his mouth but it doesn't you know it comes back out and he doesn't he's not really interested in them so yeah me and my husband have these anyway um and yeah they are best we have bought aldi's own make before which are a lot well a little bit cheaper they do actually work out loads cheaper but like i gotta say they're not as nice um these are just a bit softer um so anyway yes we've got those and then we've also got a bag of pistachio nuts just to snack on and then we've got a few vegetables here. So we've got a big bag of white potatoes and then also a bag of sweet potatoes. We've got some green beans, which um, we did actually have some last night. So it was there were a few more in the packet. Um, but yeah, we just wanted some of those. And then also these tomatoes, we only got three this week, but actually they're like really small. Um, so I might have to buy a couple more when we do our like little midweek top up shop um, in a couple of days time because that won't go very far because Arthur quite likes tomatoes recently um, and I have them in like a sandwich or I don't know if I have like beans on toast I might have a tomato as well so yeah I've only got we had three I had one yesterday so only two left now 
So we've got a good sized bag of carrots there and also a cucumber again. Sorry, we have opened that. So sorry, it's not ideal posting this, like filming this a couple of days after it arriving, but things happen, things get in the way. Um, so yeah, that is a nice big bag of mushrooms there. And then also some red onions as well. So a few little bits. And then fruit, just kind of like the usual that we get, to be honest. Again, this has been opened. So a pack of bananas. And what we do in a couple of days time, we'll get a couple more bananas and then we'll also get some more berries. So we have a selection of grapes, which is uh, red and green grapes. And we've also got a punnet of raspberries and a punnet of strawberries. So this will kind of see us through. We try and make it last until Tuesday. Um, and then we will go to the shop and buy some more for the rest of the week. Just like we'll buy a punnet of probably one, one or the other. And then we've also got some apples there as well. And then things kind of like for the cupboard, we've got two passatas there, just there in make again. And then also some chopped tomatoes. We've got two of these and we've bought the organic ones. And then we needed to sell more beans. So we've got two baked beans and these are organic as well, actually. And they are really tasty. I thought that's not meant to be there. Sorry, I'll just move that. Um, and then we've got a little can of sweet corn, which is for Arthur mainly just like for something quick and easy just to like put on his plate um i'll probably i might have a little bit as well and also oh sorry some smooth almond butter so this is one of the ones where the only ingredient is just almonds nothing else so you know no salt sugar or, or oil nothing added which is kind of what we like so we needed some more of that because we do eat a lot of that <laughs> me and my husband have toast like a few times during the week um for lunch and then maybe like couple of evenings as a snack as well um later on so yeah we do have quite a lot of that we also needed some more rice so we needed some more rice for us we have brown rice but tesco's rice isn't great um so we didn't buy it this week from tesco we will buy it like next week um i think is it same as a waitress next week but we did buy just some white rice for our food there. And then we also bought some spaghetti. So this is for us. And this is holy spaghetti. So yeah, we have brown spaghetti and brown rice. And also some decaf tea bags, which are for me really. Matt doesn't ever really have decaf. Unless he has like three cups of tea in a day. He'll, he'll probably have one decaf. Um, but yeah, so they're basically for me. And then things for the fridge. Um, I'm trying to think if anything is missing. I don't think I don't think it is actually. So we've got twelve eggs there, um, and we've got the organic ones. We've got some falafels this week, just for a snack. Um, it's just like I really like falafels. Arthur is not. I think he's gone. I mean, you know what? Like Arthur, as I said, he's twenty one months old, nearly, and he kind of like you know will eat something and then it'll go off it the next week. But we enjoy them anyway, and it's just something different to have, like to take out with us for lunch or whatever. So we got those, and also some hummus this week there. Um, we did some more butter, so we just got flora, we get the vegan one. Um, and then cheese-wise, I've got my dairy-free cheese, which is just Tesco's own make of cheese. And that, I think, I th if I'm right, that is the same make that also makes Sainsbury's own brand like they get it from the same company i think but also just like stick their own labels on i think i'm right in saying that um somebody might know and i think it's also i think it's from the company that makes cheese i don't know i i could be wrong don't quote me on it but i think that because it, it tastes similar anyway so it probably is true i don't know um and then matt just needed some dairy cheese so he's got a good block there they didn't have my soy yogurt this week which we often give arthur so arthur does have dairy as well so this week we actually got two of these um my husband usually doesn't have greek but he fancied it this week so yeah we've got two dairy big pots of yogurt there and then milk wise i've got one rice milk for me um i think i've still got one in the fridge i think possibly i've also got oat milk left still from aldi um we tried this this week this is a lot more expensive plenish um, but my husband really wanted to try it because it's organic um, and because the other coconut milk that we get, Coveco, has, I think it's like guar gum or something and my husband's done research and he says he'd rather have coconut milk without that in. Um, so this literally has only got coconut water, rice and a little bit of salt in it um, and it is really nice actually but it is more expensive so we might kind of like, you know, next week we might buy like one of these and then one of the other milk. 
Um, but yeah, we got two of those this week. I think they were like over two pounds. So yeah, not cheap, but it's really nice. Tastes nice in tea and cereal. And then we've just got some whole milk here. So this is for my husband and for Arthur. Um, and again, we'll probably run out of this and we'll have to get like a one or two pint um, when we do our shop on Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I've also got some tofu this week because my husband has got chicken left from last week. Um, so when he has that, I'll probably have this and Arthur will have that too. Um, and then a frozen thing is, the, oh, and this, sorry, this is fridge as well. Some uh, ham corn slices to have in sandwiches. Sorry, that's my air fryer. That's not usually out on the work top, um, but that's what that big thing is there. So frozen wise, not loads of things. We've got some Linda McCartney's Lincolnshire sausages there. Some oven chips here. We just get the naked ones. Um, and yeah, as it says, just potato and oil, which is really good. We do make a lot of chips in the air fryer quite often in like wedges but sometimes it's just nice to have ones that are like pre-made just to save that but that bit of time really and also we can put these in the air fryer which saves time because things seem to cook a lot quicker in the air fryer we've got a ninja one um i don't know if anyone else has got an air fryer and if you find that but things just seem to cook a lot quicker and it's quicker as well because you don't have to wait for it to warm up it's just like you put it on and it's like instant so yeah having like ready-made chips and in there just saves quite a bit of time. Anyway, um, last few things, we've got some peas. Sorry, obviously we've opened them. Frozen peas. Um, we've got some pizza dough to make our pizzas with. It's been like crushed in the freezer. And then the last thing are these sausage rolls, which we'll cook again in here. And we'll just have that. Um, like we'll take one out of a, with us like for lunch and I'll give a bit to Arthur um, and I think the only thing missing I'm trying to think if there's anything else but we did also have two corn pasties which we had for tea yesterday so they are missing but yeah that did come to around £75 so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I've bought in this Tesco grocery haul. Please do give this a like if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more food hauls and other motherhood and lifestyle videos to come. I would really love to have you here on my channel. But thank you so, so much for watching this one. I hope you have a lovely weekend, whatever you are doing. Hopefully it's not too bad weather. This weekend has been amazing weather really for October. But anyway, yes, yeah, so have a lovely weekend and I really hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.